What's up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this roadmap section we just brought out. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how you can build your own timeline or roadmap in your very own Shopify store and I'd say we just jump right into it. I built it for my About Us page right here so I think it's a really nice add-on for this section and it really shows what happened with the whole development of your brand and yeah let's get started first thing i did for it was downloaded the section store app in the shopify app store you can get it there completely for free then i headed on over to the shopify app and area where i opened up the app and then you just have to click on explore sections and if you're not familiar with the app already you can either search for the app under newest releases and if you found that video a bit later just use the search bar for that so you can simply click on that and for installing it you do have to pay a little fee of nine dollars but that doesn't mean it comes with a subscription fee or anything that means if you bought it once you're going to own it forever and i think at the end of the day it's a pretty good deal you're going to save yourself a lot of time and you're not going to need a developer or whatsoever so i do think it's a pretty good deal so yeah after successfully getting the section head back to the main area of the app by just clicking on section store because before you can actually start you have to add the theme uh, you have to add it to your theme. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. And then simply open up the theme editor. I've done so here already. And that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to get rid of that and build it completely from scratch. So you can see how I did it. I just type in SS timeline. And it's going to pop up any second. So that is going to be the default version you will be seeing right here and i'm just gonna save it up real quick you should always do that if you integrate a section in the first place to not cause any errors and after successfully loading it up we will change all the colors to our likings so it's gonna get fully customized the first thing i would like to do is actually add a little timeline right here so i'm gonna type in our roadmap I'll type it right here let's fix that real quick and center the whole text and as you can see here you can pretty much customize everything all the items and texts are customizable you can even decide on which side you want to have them and the circles and their position is also changeable so we could make the circle a little bit bigger let's just do it for the sake of this tutorial and the next thing we want to change is all the colors right here so i'm just gonna quickly steal the color we used in the testimonial so this is that one so we will make sure all the colors will be the same in this section so i'm just gonna click on it real quick and scroll all the way down again where we will decide the different color options so we will change that as well and that one too the item title color is something we would like to change and the date color as well so it all lines up with the rest of the design of our store and the final thing we have to change is the card color actually let's just chug it in right here and to actually make it look pretty of course we do need pictures so that is going to change as well so to change the pictures we can click on the blocks right here we can also change the date of that and the little text so we could also reverse it so it's going to be on that side but we would like to have it on that side so it all makes sense but you do have the option to do that as well let's just chuck some random pictures in there to make it look nice but of course you want to put in some actual content but i'm just doing that for the sake of this tutorial so let's put that one as well and the final two and then we can pretty much round it up and here we are back once again and i'll put in all the pictures so we could fill it with content one final thing i would like to change is the actual headline color so right now it is in black but i would like to have it in the same color as the rest of those little orange items right here so that's the last thing i'm gonna change and then I'm gonna save it all up and we will have a look at it in the live version. And that already will bring us to the end of this video. So it is all saved up now. And in the next step, I will open up the live version 
So let's just give the one we already used a little refresh and we should be able to see the final about us page with the new roadmap section we just integrated to show the timeline of our company. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down for that. So let's let that load up real quick. And here we do have the final section. All our changes got applied. The lazy load is also working as you can see right here. And if you guys found that useful, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. Definitely helps us to keep up that motivation. And yeah, I want to show you one last thing that it also does work on mobile. So I'm going to give you a quick overview on the mobile version. So I'm just going to switch it to mobile right here. And that is the look we are going to get on mobile. So as you can see here, it is working on mobile as well. And yeah, that pretty much finishes it up. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, always yeah, feel free to reach out to me if you have suggestions about stuff we should make in the future. And with that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out.